and the piece that we can see, the observational, the, 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 the little piece we can observe is a patch in one bubble universe amongst perhaps an infinite number of bubble universes in the inflationary multiverse. And those theories do lend themselves potentially to, to the laws of nature in each bubble possibly being different. And the way I sometimes picture it is like a snowstorm with snowflakes. So every snowflake is different um, because it's had a different formation history. Um, but there's something similar about them all, which goes to the underlying structure, which is to do with the water molecule itself. So there's something similar. There's an underlying framework but every snowflake is different and the, the inflationary multiverse can be like that so you can imagine that the laws we see things like the strength of gravity sort of crystallize out as these bubble universes form from the uh, the, the the potential which is the this thing called inflation that's potentially going on all the time so so it's possible that different universes have different um emergent laws things like the strength of gravity and um, we, we i think most physicists probably all expect that there'll be some kind of underlying framework which could something that we don't know what it is right something like string theory or something which underlies the whole thing um, so that uh, maybe neil wants to add but that's the uh, my summary of the inflationary multiverse